Today on Tech Tip Tuesday, it is for the performance gurus out there. We are doing a add-on system to this Mustang. We're throwing a twin turbo kit on here. Now, when adding turbos, you have to add an oil drain solution for your vehicle. And that typically implies that you need to drill a hole in the oil pan or something of that nature for the oil drain from the turbos back to the engine. So today, my little tip for everybody is how to keep metal shavings or plastic shavings or depending on what kind of pan you have from entering into the pan. And in order to do this, I have a very good solution for that. And I have a custom solution I made, but you can use your vacuum cleaner if you have a clean vacuum cleaner at home that has like a shop vac with the blower attachment part of it. Or you can just buy a cheap bucket vac to do so. So if you're doing it at home, you can just go to Home Depot or something, get just a cheap bucket vac like this one. That way it's brand new. You know, there's no dust, dirt, debris. You got a brand new hose. And then you can hook it up to the vehicle, either through the PCV system, if you have a big enough feed into the system, or through the oil cap. I don't have an oil cap option on this particular vehicle. It's covered up by this guy. I can take it off to fill the oil, but that's about it. I can't get anything on there to actually pressurize it from. Now this particular vehicle, it has very large PCV system hoses. So you can see this is the PCV system hose and this is where the actual PCV valve is on this vehicle. And that is not where I'm gonna attach it to because that's a restricted orifice. You don't wanna go to the PCV valve. What you wanna go to instead is to the inlet for the clean air going into the engine. Now this one, it's on the other valve cover, that way it's a cross flow system. And this particular port here is full flowing for the size of the port. So I've attached a hose. And then for my particular solution, I actually have a HVAC evacuation pump. This is the, the, the fan that takes your, your heater in your house and evacuates the nasty CO2 gases or whatever to the outside. So this guy here is uh, just got this, this hose attached to it. I used a urethane bushing, machined it to fit, and then I hooked the hose up to it. But you can easily hook this hose up directly to your vacuum on the blower side of your vacuum. So I'm going to go ahead, plug this guy in. And one of the reasons I like that thing is it's a lot quieter than an actual vacuum. But we're going to go ahead and pop this off just to verify that I have pressure in there. So you see it actually blew the cap off of there. I did not do that at all. I'll go ahead and push it down, hold it with my finger. Now let go. See how it blows the cap out of there? That tells you that you have good pressure inside the crankcase. And that's what you want, is you want pressure inside the crankcase. Now you don't want to use an air compressor unless you regulate it, because if you get too much pressure in there, you could easily blow out a seal. The good thing about vacuum cleaners and such as that blower there, it won't blow out any seals. Now I can go ahead and start drilling in to the spot where I want to add the port. I have to actually add two ports to this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So there's one. Now before I do the other one, I'm going to finish this one because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and thread this guy. I can feel it all blowing out here. I'm going to go ahead and thread this guy in there, but I need to tap the tap hole too. And I'm going to make sure that I keep it under pressure while I throw the tap in there because all those shavings, and I'm going to go short amounts. So a lot of times with a tap, especially in plastic like this, you can just kind of keep going, especially with a pipe tap and it'll just make the threads. But because you're trying to keep stuff out of the crankcase, what you want to do is you want to do half turn, quarter turn back, half turn, quarter turn back. It might take a little bit, but by doing that, you're creating little bitty pieces. Those little bitty pieces will then be able to fly out. Make sure you don't lube the tap, keep the tap dry. It'll continue to push things out. So now once I'm done tapping it, I'm going to go ahead and apply my, I'm going to use epoxy on here because it's a plastic pan and I'm just not very comfortable. And I'm going to try and I'm going to tap it a few times, keep threading this in until this is tight when it bottoms out. So I want it to bottom out and be tight because if it's bottom out, I'm gonna have more support being a plastic pan on this thing. I'm gonna have more support against this flange directly. And then I'm also gonna take some, some JB weld and put it right on here because once that's on there, it's permanent, it's not coming off. Now, another couple of tips is if you ever have to pull this motor out for any reason or do any work in the area where the, the hoses that or the, the AN fittings that you have on here are off, be sure to put a plug cap on here because if you damage this tapered part of the fitting, it'll start to leak. And then of course, since you glued it in permanently, that could really screw you and you're probably gonna have to get another pan. So do whatever you can to protect 
the, the tapered part of this fitting to make sure that you don't damage that. Uh, and then of course, once you get the first one in, go ahead and put a cap on here just for the sake of doing the second one. That way you have maximum pressure in the crankcase when you drill out for the second one as well. So hopefully this little tip is helpful to you and you can maybe apply it to other things too. If you ever have to drill any kind of ports that you're adding onto an engine, this applies for any port to keep stuff from landing inside the engine. So keep that in mind. Nice little handy, useful tip. And uh, with that, like, share, subscribe, and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. To really screw you, and you're probably going to have to get another pan. So do whatever you.